So the story of water harvesting at Varanasi farms started with these two 45 years ago. When my mother was getting married to my father, she was being told by her family that not to get married to him because there is no water in this land. But my father took it as a challenge and dug all these water harvesting channels over the decades. Now we have plenty of water to the last through the summer, even in the toughest of droughts. Water is essential for farming. It is required in plant growth, photosynthesis and also nutrient uptake. Even though we have a lot of rainfall, by the time summer comes, all the water drains out unless we do water harvesting. In this episode, we're going to show you how we did water harvesting in 10 layers at Varanasi Organic Farms. The very first layer of water harvesting starts from the highest point of your farmland. It could be in the border of your farm, wherein you uh, dig a lot of trenches like this. It could be three feet wide and up to eight feet deep trenches wherein the water gets trapped and all the channel comes into that water and the water gets trapped and percolates underground. Whatever overflow should again go through swales, different swales and go into the second layer of uh, water harvesting. This is the second layer of water harvesting that we do in this farm. During the rains, this tank fills up and the water gets, starts percolating inside the ground. Whatever water is stored and percolated from the layer, second layer of tank overflows and comes through these swales. And in these swales, it goes zigzag through the farmland, again increasing the percolation of the water and goes on to the third layer of pond where we hold the water for a bit more longer time. This is our third layer of water harvesting and you can see the color which has turned really blue because uh, the water is sedimented and it comes seeping out of the ground. Whatever overflows again goes into the fourth layer of water harvesting. What you see here is the fourth layer of water harvesting. Comes through the channels, percolates and then goes down to the fifth layer of water harvesting. Water harvesting Layer 5. This pond is situated right in the middle and also it's a home for turtles. And you can see in the background uh, the percolated water from level 4 of water harvesting oozing out of the ground and joining here into this pond. Here is the thick layer of water harvesting but here is something really interesting. What you see over here is a borewell and we are making sure that all the wa water which is seeping out of here gets stored around the borewell so that the borewell gets recharged. Interesting thing about this borewell, it's only 150 feet deep and it was a it's a very old borewell. We uh, dug it 30 years ago. Unfortunately, this borewell didn't yield any water. But after 10 years of successful recharging, now we harvest up to two to three inches of water every year for two to three months. So borewell recharging really works. The seventh layer is right in the middle of the farm. Here we are for the layer number eight. So this pond fills up again with the water which is coming through various swales. I think about 15 different swales come and join over here which has gone through the farmland and water percolates here. Whatever overflows from here again goes to final two layers of swales and then again gets captured into two different places which we're going to go and see. The water harvesting st uh, structure layer number nine is right here. It is slightly different from the other water harvesting structures. We have put cement rings in here so that um, we used to have a problem of the, the mud sliding into this. So just to reduce that, reduce erosion, we have created a ring-like structure. These kind of structures are also used in farms for water harvesting methods. This is the 10th layer of water harvesting and the final one and it is right in the border of our farm. The border is literally few meters from here and this is also in the lowest altitude. If the highest altitude in our farm is about 110 meters, this level, uh, this layer is at um, 68 meters from sea level. So there is a good 40 meters difference and uh, whatever water collected in here will stay in here until the end of April, which is almost uh, the mid midway of the summer. And we also pump this water back into the topmost, which is the layer two um, of water harvesting so that the water also recycles inside the farm using the solar energy. 
Between the layers of all these water harvesting structures, we have to have lots of these swales, which will make the running water crawl, the crawling water to stop, and to stop water to seep into the ground. And make sure it touches maximum surface area inside your farm.